Hey, what's up? The Brew Dude is back here with another beer. So I got a different beer today. This beer is called Tusker, Together Forever. So I did read up a little bit of information about this just to kind of have a little bit of idea of the origin. Apparently, this beer has originated in uh, Africa. Uh, Kenya apparently and then it went from uh, I think I got a little information it says Kenya breweries and now it's called East African breweries and then it went on a, a couple of different tours and I'm not even gonna get into that but check that out it's actually pretty cool there's obviously Tusk Tusker elephant 4.2 percent alcohol by volume this is a pale lager beer apparently comes in different uh, pale malts malt one uh, different higher ABVs, but this is the one that was available to me. I got it. I'm going to taste it. I've never had it. I'm, I like this trend that I'm on. I'm having some beers that I've never had, and in some cases, just lagers, you know? I taste all beers. I like all beers, and if you've seen my channel, you can check out different beers. I like them all, um, and sometimes I like to choose a brewery and get a bunch of beers that I can get from that area and enjoy them all and review them, share them with you, to see if it's something that you might like. That came off mighty easily. <sighs> Definitely some grains in there. Very mild, nothing skunky. It actually smells very clean. Check this pour out. Clear, pale, super pale. Super pale, check that out. A lot of bubbles, a lot of bubbles. A lot of bubbles means, in some cases, some bite. Um, there's definitely a lot of paleness in this beer. White, white head, not a lot of aroma. Grain aroma, but there's not a lot. No hoppy aroma, nothing. <sighs> Smells good. <sighs> Check that out. Very pale. I can see through it. Let's see. There you go. It can sh share right through it. Um, if you've had it, Put some notes down at the bottom. Maybe when I if I have it again, I get some. But maybe you, you don't agree with what I'm tasting, and that's okay. That's the beauty about tasting beer, food, and everything, right? Because we all like different things. Some people like beer. Some people don't. Some people despise beer. I have. I know some people. Yeah, I know. I know some people. I'm not sure. I think about it till this day. It's like, man, when we go out or when you don't even drink beer, you drink other stuff, and it's like, anyway. We all like different things and it's okay. I just happen to like beer and I like to ha I share this information with you so that maybe that you, you can find beers that you might like without having to spend all that money to do the trial and error. Let me do that. Let me figure that out. Check that out. Tusker beer originated in Kenya. I went through some avenues, different here and there. People added some flavors. I'm sure that the original recipe changed for what it is now. Uh, beer changed for what it is now. I'm sure at the beginning beer was just sour all the time until we realized how, how 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 the yeast works. And if you don't know how beer works, the yeast is the key. All right, cheers uh, to all the uh, uh, Tusker family and and in this case here it originated in Kenya. So all the Kenyan homies, all the beer that in, all the people that enjoy Tusker or just the people that enjoy beer. Even if you don't like beer, you're just here to watch it to to be interested. I've had some messages, some people say, hey, you know what, I don't even drink beer, but I like watching what you're drinking. All right, if you're that person, welcome to the channel and let's enjoy. Cheers. Ooh, very light, almost apple cider-like. Think of, think of um, a little bit of apple cider. Maybe a very light alcoholic cider. That's what you're getting. Uh, you're not getting apple flavor because that'd be that'd be kind of gross coming from a beer. But you're getting that that taste in the mouth. Think of like you had a one of your favorite apple cider alcoholic beverages, like a what is that one? Angry Orchard, and you watered it down really well. That's kind of what you're getting. It's not a lot of bite. The carbonation was just there to fool me. All it was there is to create that nice little lacing right there. And that's it. It's not even noticeable on the palate. The flavors of grape are very light, very, very light. Almost like if this beer just touched the grain and then touched a little bit of apple uh, cider 
and then it was mixed together, bottled, and then served. It's not disgusting. It just doesn't have a lot of flavor, and it might not be something that I might enjoy all the time. Maybe you do, and maybe you can share with me how little things that you do to enjoy it. But check that out. Easily drinkable, nothing wrong. Uh, body is very light, crisp. It just kind of goes in and disappears. There's nothing lingering left over. The bot, the feel of it is very light too. Uh, Tusker beer, like I said, for all the Kenyan uh, homies and the people that enjoy this beer or just anyone here on the channel. Uh, I don't know if, you know, I, I wouldn't go out of my way to find it, but if you come across it, just grab it, you know, drink it, uh, enjoy it, cheers it. Uh, let me go ahead and drink this here. But here it is, Tusker beer, 4.2% alcohol by volume. You could probably drink, I don't know, a 12 pack of this. I'm not saying do it, but you probably could. Check that graphics out. See that? If you decide to get it, get it. If not, don't get it. Thank you for watching, subscribing, and liking. But if you do get it, drink it safely. And with that said, the Brew Dude is out.